Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning how lighting is used in animation. So let's get on with the tutorial. Quote, light is incredibly fundamental to human existence, yet we are so accustomed to it that not many of us often really stop to consider it. Light dictates our activities, influences our frame of mind, and affects the way we perceive all manner of things. It may be true that the hours a lot of CG lighting artists work mean that they are less accustomed to seeing natural daylight than most people, but an understanding of its nature and behavior is fundamental to being able to work with it effectively." End quote. Light sources allow for different ways to introduce light into animated scenes. Point lights emit light from a single point in all directions, such as a light bulb. Directional lights emit light uniformly from one direction, such as the sun. Spotlights emit light that is directed from a cone, such as a flashlight. Ambient lights illuminate objects even when no other source of light is present, such as an HDRI or an area light. Shadows are also important because they allow the viewer to distinguish movement and the depths of an object. Diffuse lighting is the direct illumination of an object with the light interacting with the surface properties. Ambient light is directionless and interacts uniformly across the surface. Specular light creates bright spots on an object depending upon the surface properties. Let's now explore the different types of lighting techniques used in filmmaking and animation. The following techniques are from 13 Film Lighting Techniques Every Filmmaker Should Know by Jason Hellerman. The link is in the description. Natural lighting replicates the real world. Key lighting illuminates the object or character and is the brightest light in the scene. High key lighting reduces the scene's lighting ratio and can infer a hopeful or optimistic tone. Low key lighting emphasizes the darker tones and shadows, which creates a suspenseful or ominous tone. Fill lighting cancels out the shadows that are created by the key light. Backlighting is used to separate the object or character from the background. Practical lighting gives depth of field to scenes that are wide shots or long takes. Hard lighting creates shadows, highlights, and silhouettes for dramatic effect. Soft lighting reduces shadows and adds tenderness and emotions to the scene. Bounce lighting creates a large area of light that is evenly spread and highlights an object or character. Side lighting also highlights an object or character while also providing drama and mood. Motivated lighting imitates a natural source and enhances the use of practical lights. Ambient lighting provides overall light. A standard lighting setup is the three-point lighting setup. The key light, fill light, and back or hair light make up a three-point lighting setup. This lighting setup produces direct lighting and also allows you to control the shadows. The key light is the primary light source within the scene. It is the most intense and direct light source that illuminates the form of the object or character. The fill light cancels out the shadows that are created by the key light. It is placed opposite the key light and is usually not as powerful as the key light. The back or hair light is a light source that is behind the object or character. It is used to separate the object or character from the background and provide more depth and shape to the object or character. Let's now briefly explore the different types of shadows. Quote, shadows add richness to the tone and shading of a scene. It is the glue that ties all elements together. From a viewer's perspective, shadows help determine the relative position of the object and its size in a scene. 
Finally, shadow effects work as visual cues that help viewers determine the geometry of a complex occlude. End quote. The following techniques are from Shadow Effects, The Critical Role That Shadows Play in a Scene by Tina Lee. The link is in the description. Hard shadows are a reference to the defined edges of shadows, which have sharp boundaries and completely shadowed areas. Soft shadows are created when you have a light source that is larger than the object or character, which produces smooth shadowed regions. Cast shadows appear around an object or character when the object or character blocks the light source. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you are interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.